decontamination, donning PPE. You first want to apply your shoe covers and your boot covers. This will prevent slips and falls while in the decontamination room. Apply gloves. Make sure you have the appropriate size so that they stay on your hands securely. Now it's time to apply the gown. Open the gown. Place it over your head and your arms through both arm holes. There is a thumb hole at the end of the sleeve to help hold the gown in place. To secure the gown, tie it in the back. For extra protection, you can add a second layer of gloves. Then make sure you pick and choose the appropriate size outer gloves. When placing your hand inside the glove, please make sure you pull the glove securely all the way up your arm as far as it will go. This will allow protection while you're reaching your hand inside the sink. Last, you want to apply a face shield. This helps to protect you from any fluids that may splash during the decontam process. Remember, it is important to check your filters in the cart washers daily. You want to make sure you're removing all trash and debris so not to clog the cart washer. Take the filter to the trash can, empty all of the trash and debris that is clogged up into the filter. Take the filter to the sink and use the spray arm to make sure you get all the debris and small particles that are caught in the filter out. Remember, when returning the filter back to its place, make sure you put it in place and position it, push down securely to make sure it holds. Filling up your sink in decontam. First, you want to allow the water to run for a few seconds. This allows the water to warm up before you turn the handle to close the drain. Your water in your sink must remain between 99 and 116 degrees. This allows the enzymatic to properly break down all the bio burden on the trays and the instrumentation. Once your sink is reached its 10 gallon level, turn the water off. Push the green button on the AccuSync one time to dispense the correct dilution of enzymatic.
Your sink should be clear with the enzymatic inside of it. This will allow you to prevent injury by being able to see everything in your sink all the way to the bottom. At any time when your sink is grossly soiled or the temperature of water has reduced below 99 degrees, you should repeat the following steps of refilling your sink to 10 gallons and adding it more enzymatic. Checking the spray arms inside the washer and the filters daily helps to ensure that the amount of enzymatic and detergent and solution is being dispensed properly during the wash cycle. This also allows your instrumentation to be rinsed properly as well. You want to inspect and clean your arms inside the washer and all the washer racks and check the filter in the bottom of the washer daily. You want to repeat this step of checking the spray arms for both the one on the bottom and there's also one spray arm on the top. Then you want to remove the internal filter of the washer, dump any of debris that may be caught in the filter, and rinse it off as well. It is important to repeat this step to check the spray arms on every washer rack. This will allow the correct dispense dispersal of enzymatic and detergent and water to rinse the instruments throughout their cycle of wash.
Removing PPE or doffing PPE. You remove first your outer gloves. If you have on a second layer, you remove those next, making sure you always pull from the wrist towards the fingertips to contain any contamination. As you remove your gown, you want to make sure you roll it towards the inside. That way you're containing any and all contamination inside the gown. Next, you remove your shoe covers and your boot covers. Use a chair if needed to hold your balance. Remove your face shield and then your final pair of internal gloves.